Hi everyone, I am Amitesh at GetSed SQL and in this tutorial you will learn how to use union and union all. So we will see how we can combine the record set of two or more tables in a single row set and we will also see what is the difference between union and union all with relevant examples. So stay tuned and let's start. So first of all we will understand what is union operator. Union operator is used to combine the record set of two or more select statement. While we are using union operator, we must take care of two main important things. The first one is all select statement using with union operator must have same number of columns. Also every select statement correlated column must have similar data type. Now when we use union operator, it eliminates the duplicate rows. It means if I am using two or more select statement with union operator and they are combining record set containing the duplicate rows then union operator eliminate all duplicate rows and show only the distinct rows of each duplicated record sets. I will explain these points with examples. First let's see what is the syntax of writing union operator. So it is very simple you can see the first select statement then union and then second select statement and so on we can join more select statement by adding union operator in middle of each select statement. When we apply the union with two select statement let's say in, in this example table 1 and table 2 we can see the table 1 and table 2 both has single columns where table 1 has 1 and 2 and table 2 has 3 and 4. So when the record set combines it gives us a single column with all values of table 1 and table 2. Let's see in the example. Here for our example creating two simple tables the table 1 with two columns id and name and table 2 with again two columns id and name. The so both the tables have two columns and we will insert some dummy value into it. So let me first create both the tables both the tables created and if I check the values without union operator to see how it looks like you can see this is the table 1 and this is table 2 so table 1 has values id 1 and name a id 2 name b id 3 and name c in a similar way we have five rows in table 2 but if you see closely both the tables, few values we have common in both the tables. Like id1 and name a is available in table a and table b both. Similarly, id2 and name b is available in table a and table b both. Now if I use union operator with both the select statement, then let's see what is the result set. So you can see after using union, we have 5 rows where 1a and 2b is appearing only single times but we have seen both the rows are available in table a and table b both so what it concludes that union operator eliminate the duplicacy and shows only the unique rows no matter how many times it is repeating in both the table or a single table now for union operator the correlated columns data type should be similar it means either it should be same or compatible. If we see the definition of both the tables, you will find the id column in table a has data type small int. It means it can have only a 2 bytes of information. Where the table 2 has a data type integer. It means it can store 4 bytes of information. It simple means that in table 1 id can have smaller range of integer values. In table 2 this column may have the bigger range of values. But both columns data types are compatible. In the same way you can also see deliberately I have given the data type in table 1 as varchar 12. It means up to 12 characters it can hold. But in table 2 the name data type is nvarchar 7. It means it can hold only 7 characters and also it can store special character like Chinese, Arabic, Hindi and other language fonts with special characters. But again the name column in both the tables have compatible data types. So we can perfectly use the union operator with both the select statements because their data types are compatible. 
but what if the data types are not compatible let me show you in the example i will just change the position of the columns in first table and will run it again this time in the first select statement my first column is name which is varchar but in second select statement id is a integer value which is my first column and similar with id and name so these are the correlated columns which are not compatible and if i run this you can see it throw a error which says conversion failed when converting the varchar value a to data type integer which is very clear that incompatible data types are not supported in union operator so this is about union operator now let's see what is union all operator union all operator is all similar to union operator it works in the same way as the union works but with only difference that union operator does not eliminate duplicate rows the syntax is also same just we use union all instead of union operator and if we use union all then table 1 and table 2 when joins it produces again the similar out as union produces but here you can see both the tables have one common value 2 so 2 repeats twice let's try this in sql now back to the sql server screen and here i will use union all operator here we have insert a statement of both the tables and you can see again that 1a and 2b is common in both the tables and if i run this sample with union all operator oh sorry i forgot to rearrange the position so i'll make it back to as required and now if i run this query you will see the id 1 and name a is repeating twice also 2b is repeating twice here first here and the second appearance is here we can also use order by clause with union and union all operator both so this time i will order by it id and if i run it again so we will get a more arranged result set the repeated columns are coming together and now we have more clear picture that duplicate rows get repeated when we use union all operator so this is all about this video hope you would like this and if it really add some value to your knowledge then please like this video and subscribe my channel If not then please let me know in the comment that what should I improve in this video your suggestions are always precious to me I also write a blog on getsetsql.com there I have written SQL server and MSBI articles and further I am also planning to include more topics like W Power BI or tricks python java.net you can suggest me that what should I cover in my next tutorial I will definitely try to make the videos on that so this is all about this tutorial I'll come soon with more interesting and learning videos Till then take care stay blessed thank you